Hey yo, what up my freddies? Welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown YouTube video. I'm your host, Pineapple Fred, and in today's video, I was supposed to showcase a fan request, and that was to do Choice Band Licky Licky. But I saw the opportunity to put Galvantula, so I made this a PU team that was going to be played on OU. And let me know if you enjoyed this type of commentary because I decided to not do live games simply because it would take too much time if the opponent was time stalling or if they were having connection issues. And yeah, with that said, let's get into the video. Alright, kicking it off, we're up against Shaman is my fave. Obviously, we have to start with Galvantula to get the webs up, and this was particularly good for me because I noticed that they didn't have any defoggers, so I had no reason not to just go with Galvantula. I didn't have a problem with it going down though because it didn't really have any purpose other than the webs and getting rid of the Tabu Fini. I chose to go with Charizard and get the Ancient Power in case, you know, maybe I got the buff, so I decided to use it again and stay in. I kind of knew they were going to go for the Dragon Dance, and that's when I got kind of scared, so I decided to go to Vomit Plus. I don't remember what I was thinking, I was thinking maybe it would set up again and I would still be faster, but fortunately not. But I did get to go to Licky Licky, and the reason why I go to this is because I know that it couldn't have one-shot me and I could get the explosion off. And now that I got the scariest Pokemon off the team, I noticed that the rest of their team is either weak to fire or fighting, so Hitmonlee was going to do great here. I was fully expecting a Choice Scarf Heatran, but unfortunately they weren't, and this was kind of an issue because I wanted them to bring the health all the way down. But they went for the Stealth Rock, so that was really great. If they didn't go for the Stealth Rock, I definitely would have lost this game. And at this point on, you guys can kind of figure out what's going to happen next. Um, I obviously win the game. Uh, but yeah, Reversal is very OP. I didn't really have a chance to use Endure. I mean, I did, but I wanted to bring its health all the way down. But here, I still realized that Mamoswain could be a threat with Ice Shard, because at this range, I could die. So luckily I do have Bullet Punch, and as you're about to see, I do go for Endure, fully expecting the Ice Shard to, you know, suss it out. But they went for Substitute, which completely threw me off. And then I, got, I went for the Bullet Punch, and this is when they used Ice Shard, but it didn't really matter because I won the game anyway. And yeah, I'm just going to shut up and let you finish watching this video, and I'll commentate in the next one. In game two, we're up against Kalan Jr. Uh, again, I went with Galvantula always, because if you're a fan of my channel, you know I always start with Spydar. Go for the Sticky Web, get the Thunder Wave off. There wasn't really any reason for me not to, because they don't really have a Defogger. Even if there was a Defogger, I'd still go for it anyways. But I went for the Charizard here just because I wanted to get the Ancient Power off, and I got really lucky with the boost. And when I was playing these games, I realized I didn't really have a good counter for flying types. Obviously Galvantula, but since it's the lead, it doesn't really do that well if it dies. I land the para and the confusion, but they break through it because Togekiss OP. Um, but I was very surprised that my Charizard still outsped most Pokemon. I continue going for the um, Ancient Power because at this point I thought Charizard's going to die anyway. Might as well go out with a bang and another Ancient Power boost. But this person set up rocks and, you know, I mean, you do you. I just keep going for the Ancient Power for the lols and at this point I know that Charizard's going to go down. So I'm just going to keep spamming Ancient Power. They land the Hydro Pump. It doesn't kill, uh, it doesn't really surprise me, and unfortunately we get paralyzed and Charizard goes down. Uh, I would have wanted to land a Hurricane, but you know, you don't get what you want all the time. Uh, we go to Mama June, the Licky Licky, and I'm just going to go for the explosion here because Garchomp was, the, was a real threat because it could hit really hard. So Garchomp goes down and that's completely fine with me. And at this point I th I'm thinking, I'm probably going to lose. They have five Pokemon left and Yuxi is a fodder, so... I gotta really try and sweat the shit out of this game. Uh, I land the Thunder Wave, and we go into Espeon. I'm just gonna sack this thing because, again, it's not really gonna serve a good purpose. And I go back into Yuxi to get the trick off, to just guarantee that I lock them into one move, because if I wanted to win, I had to play this really smart. And now, I go to Hitmonlee, and this is why it's such a great Pokemon. Because, when I get the Endor off, I can get the Lychee Berry boost, and I can just reverse sweep the entire team. But obviously, they go for Protect, and I don't get the Endure or the Light Lychee Berry boost. Well, that's completely okay because I have other opportunities because I still have five Pokemon. I'm not sure what they were going for with the Protect and the Magma Storm. I mean, I, I'm one Pokemon. They might have lived one reversal when it's 20 base power, but you know, it's all right. 
Magma Storm was a concern because I was afraid that it might bring my health down too low, and now that I'm watching this, I was playing like an idiot, because if my health continued to go down, I could have been killed right away with a Sandstream. But at this point, Reversal does what it's supposed to do, and it just reverse sweeps the entire team. Luckily, Togekiss was low enough HP, because if it wasn't, I don't think I would have won this game. And lucky for me, this person actually threw, because instead of going to Tyranitar now, they went to Togekiss, and I actually did let them know in the chat, and they continued to stay with Togekiss. And this guy was really honorable, he said, thanks for telling me how I could have won, but you deserve the win, and yeah. GG well played, dude. This was an amazing match. This is the battle that you've been waiting for, it's the Salt. Um, yeah, we start with the Galvantula, and this was a really weird lead, because I was fully expecting a Fire Blast or a Flamethrower, but they went for Dragon Breath first. Galvantula does go down, but that's not a, that's not too bad. And I thought that the Shadow Ball would kill, but this was a fat Dragapult. And unfortunately we lose, they land a crit, I don't think it mattered though, and they hit me with the GG early. Um, but you'll see that this comes back to bite him in the ass, or her, I don't know. Uh, never say GG early, unless you know you're gonna win, otherwise it just makes you look like a clown. I went for the Ancient Power to try and maybe go for a boost, but unfortunately we don't get it. We go for the Hurricane, and I thought they were gonna kill me with Stone Edge or Rock Slide, but they went for the Ball Cup. Um, obviously they were probably expecting me to switch, and you can see here, why would you stay in? I stayed in because I didn't really want Charizard anymore, I wanted to clean switch into something else, but I'm glad I didn't switch. Um, Go to Licky Licky here because I, re I then realized Charizard is kind of valuable. This guy has a point though, I am really bad at the game, so I, I think I did just get lucky there. Uh, I go for the Power Whip, Nihiligo doesn't die, but that's alright, I didn't really care for the Licky Licky anymore. At this point I'm thinking the game could go either way because I've only got two Pokemon that can really hit. But I land the Bullet Punch and Nihiligo goes down. I thought he was going to go to a Choice Scarf Heatran, but they went to Toxapex, so I had to take this time to just, you know, set up and trick because I don't like stall or bulk Pokemon, that's the whole point of Uxie, it's just to lock them into one move. They saw that I was going to use Trick and they decided to stay in, which was very weird. And now they're locked into Scald, and they get really mad and they say this. <laughs> it's a great insult, dude. Um, I, I love these. Please insult me, feel free to do it down in the comments, it always gives me a kick, you know. Um, yeah, they call me bad. I know I'm bad, you don't need to ex like emphasize it, I'm hot trash at this game. Uh, they just continue to go for Scald, I don't know why they didn't switch. So I go for the Memento here, thinking that I could go to Charizard and, you know, get a couple of Ancient Power boosts or just knock it out. Um, I go for the Scorching Sands, expecting it to do around 30%, it did more than I thought. But the Scald did a lot more damage than I thought, I didn't think Toxapex would hit that hard. Uh, maybe they were running fake stall, you know. Uh, go check the video out, it's amazing. Uh, I go for the Ancient Power hoping to land another boost, and at this point I'm thinking I might have won. Unless the, you know, heat is air bloom, but I don't think it matters. Uh, here was a very, very weird play because they end up having an eject button on their Kartana, which is really, really strange. I don't know what they were thinking and they call me bad. Again, not wrong. Go for the Scorching Sand and the heat train goes down and out comes the Kartana. And as you all know, this game has ended. I decided to troll for a little bit though and use the Ancient Power and they say this. Okay, it absolutely amazes me how people just, how in denial can you be, you know? They, they still think they win, um, but obviously you and I both know it's not happening because Hitmonlee is pretty fast. I go for the Endure anyway, just because I wanted to, you know, show them the true power of the little dragon. Shout out if you know the comment, or not the comment, the um, reference of this. Let me know in the comments if you got this reference. And down goes the Kartana, and yeah, GG well played, Ding Dong Kong. Don't be salty, don't be toxic, and don't be like this guy. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you're a new viewer, please consider subscribing because I do make some pretty awesome daily content. And if you're a recurring viewer and you just want to help the channel out, be sure to go down there and leave a like on the video to help it circulate because the YouTube algorithm has been mean to me lately. And yeah, with that said, why not watch another video? And if not, I'll see you in the next one.